Even with top name ATV and UTV manufacturers, you can still find low quality parts installed. In the case of the Polaris Razor, they like to use disposable parts. For example, the U-joints in the driveline do not have zerks, so they can be greased and maintained. They are just allowed to dry up and then need to be replaced. Such is the case with my Razor. One day David and I were out riding and noticed that my U-joints were really dry and could tell that the pins were pretty much gone. So much movement you got in between yeah. there. It's because they, they, they designed it fucked up. How can you have a U-joint that's not greasable? Okay, side to side. Just the needle bearings will just dry up after a while. It is, it's a two-piece drive shaft, so you just have to pull your tunnel. Right. You pull your tunnel and then you've got a carrier bearing in the middle. Yeah. There's little tricks to get it out. You have to push it forward, disconnect it, and pull the rear one out, and then pull the front one out through that way. Mm -hmm. It's a pain in the ass if you don't know what you're doing, but I'll show you how to do it. I'll help you do it, because two people doing it is way easier. You just, you just bang those fuckers out and bang the new ones in. You just got a grease zerk that comes out, it's like right in the middle of the uh, of the U joint. Uh -huh. it's, it's a 90 degree one, so you just stick the grease gun right in the side and grease it. If one of those let go, dude, it just sits up there and just will beat the hell out of everything. <laughs> it's not cool. Man, I don't want to do that. Yeah, Polaris does a lot of smart shit, but they do a lot of stupid shit. So, I purchased the Sandcraft RCR upgraded greasable U-joint replacements. David came over to show me how to install them. And this is how it went down. Alright, so we got to change out the U-joints, all three of them. And David has been kind enough to come and show me the best way to do this. <laughs> Basically, the, the stock U-joints that come on, you can't even grease them. And they just wear out pretty quick, don't they? We need Bosch grips. Okay, what? Oh, I see you're just trying to punch it out right from there. It's not coming out as easy, is it? At this point, we are trying to punch the roll pin out of the yoke on the front diff. This is not an easy task. In fact, I started squirting WD-40 on it a week before in hopes of loosening it up. Still, it wasn't that easy getting it out, but I believe it would have been harder if I had not started putting the WD-40 on it a week ahead of time. Okay. Break time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the front roll, uh, roll pin on the front differential. And it's a bitch to get out of there apparently, so if you're planning on doing that, it's been a couple days before squirting it with WD-40. That could have been worse, I guess, huh? I always I always put a bolt back in it. I never run that thing back in there. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like a, you ever know, it's like a 10 mil bolt or something? It fits perfect, like it slides right in. I mean, it doesn't hold anything besides the, right. the shaft from coming off. It doesn't hold any torque or anything. It just holds the drive shaft from coming off the back. Can you, can you uh, tighten it down? Yeah, I mean, I just use a, just a nylock nut. Come over and look at it. And just watch it? What? Do you have to just keep your eye on it? Will it back it out? Or? No, no, you just get a lock, lock nut. The beast. Yeah, mine's got a bolt in the lock nut. Uh, okay, yeah. I see that shit no more, dude. No more pounding on it. Yep, sure enough. Lock nut, 10 millimeter, you say? I think it's a 10 millimeter bolt by like, I can't remember. Any millimeter. You look it up on the internet, everybody's got a, it's on the internet, I just looked it up and bought one fast and all. Fit perfectly in there, no play or anything. Yeah. Now, uh, is that where the, uh, that's where the carrier bearing is, right? Yeah. Dang. Oh, yeah. 
That's one whole piece? Oh yeah. Oh geez. Yeah. I just straight up cut mine out. You don't need this shit. It is a bitch. Come, it's the best way. That's pretty much it. You gotta get all this apart to get that piece out of there. So that's the carrier bearing there. Yep. I don't know what that shape it's in. Do that, you pull it forward. Yeah, you just gotta jimmy it around, get enough space. There you go. Something broke loose. Yeah. Damn. Get some more of that uh, PB blaster or whatever you had. On uh, the WD 40? Yeah. Here you go. about a sixteenth of an inch out of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got a ratchet strap hooked to the front on the front yoke or U joint. And then we got a, another one hooked to the back <laughs> up to the four wheeler. This booger does not want to come out of there. All right, with a little bit of ingenuity, we finally got that puppy out of there. What kind of damage did we do in here? Uh, don't think any. Good to go. There we go. See the old ring I'm talking about? That's what's holding us back. It's probably torn a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah it's from what I can tell, from what I can see. Yeah. Okay, these U joints are from. Sandcraft Motorsports. Hey, um, there you go. Nice and dusty. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Woo. No bueno. Yeah, those things need to be able to be greased. I don't get why they don't make them that way. Yeah. All right. Now I'll cut that. <laughs> well, I'm glad you caught that. Oh yeah. I'm always looking for that shit. I would hate to be out on a trail and one of things come loose. It'd have to be easier to get back with a broken axle than it would with one of these things going. Oh yeah. Especially just be in there, cause I mean, it's this far away from your coolant lines, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banging around in here. Yeah. A new tube? Wrong ones. I gotta run pick up the rock. Uh oh. What do, we, what do we need there? I mean, if they had a bearing, but I mean, that's what they all sound like. I mean, you can't grease them or anything. Another bearing? 
Yeah, but I mean, that's all. That, that, that's is. They're all like that. Mine was like that. Mine was brand new. Really? Yeah. I mean, we can straighten that little ding out of it, but I mean, it's not gonna hurt nothing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt the bearing. Well, let me call them and see if they got it. Yeah. You can always run up there and grab it. Yeah. Yeah, to keep it going for a little bit. Eh? Yeah. Okay. So I went to the Polaris shop here in town mm -hmm. asking for a carrier bearing and when i got there it was it was not that bearing <laughs> i don't know what it was but we found out they actually call it a flex bearing and they didn't have one so we're just making this one pretty you already got the uh, Front. I was gonna say you already got that hooked up back there. I don't suppose we'll do that till that it's all together in the center here. Yeah. Up. It's got a key, sell a keyway. Mm -hmm. You gotta line it with that mark. Okay. There's a keyway right there. Did you already did you put those white marks on there? Or was it there? Yeah, it's already it fits factory. Okay. Out that easy. Yeah, no kidding. My hand it's, yeah, She's on there. Is it? No. Oh, yeah. Good to go. Perfect. So we got all the drivetrain back together. And then we're taking a look at the belt. Belt box inside. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Hell no. Besides, your square pucks are eating away at your secondary. See it? Yeah. See how it's grinding away? You need to swap them out to those round pucks. I even got a set of brand new ones from Hunter Works, I'll give you. Oh, really? Yeah, because I, I changed my secondary. It just turns these into round, and then they roll instead of grind. See how it's ground, ground down, all that? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, see how you got that gap there? Mm -hmm. So every time you hit the gas, it snaps forward, and it goes... That's, what that, that's that gap right yeah, there. I got you. Yeah, it's got it on both sides. Yeah, can we play that out? Yeah, that belt, 1,900 miles, that looks pretty good still. Yeah. How about the inside of the shit faces? Yeah. Got a little bit of groove on the inside, just on this side, but shit, that's good. I guess it uh, it does you good to break it in correctly, right? Yeah. <laughs> Should we blow this see, out at all? Let's see, you got a little bit of belt slap up there. It's oh, engine yeah. breaking. Belt slap is? up there. Yeah, but it's not bad. Usually if it slaps, slaps really hard, it'll rip the top of the belt off. Mm. It doesn't even look that dirty to blow it out. <sighs> well, maybe. Yeah, go for it. Go blow, you, got, you, got a, you got an air hose? Yeah. Okay, so we got all the U-joints uh, e in. We couldn't do the, the flex bearing, but everybody calls it a carrier bearing. But it's actually a flex bearing. <laughs> if you go to Polaris, they're going to call it a flex bearing. They didn't have it. Then had to break the tire down a little bit because I had stuff caught in here and it was leaking so we went around and uh, pumped them all back up let them kind of get seated on the bead what else did we do oh check the belt box yeah it was pretty clean belt still looking good 1900 miles that either means it's a really good belt or I just don't drive it that hard <laughs> It probably, I just don't drive it that hard. <laughs> like on my like seventh belt. Yeah. Gosh. Well, we, we when we went to uh, West Point, you broke that one in, and then what was it after? Oh, you you wanted to go and break in another belt when we were up there, uh, wheeling last time. Yeah, I'm picky. <laughs> it was like a week apart. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like yeah, we went to West Point and my helix sheared off, so then it kind of 
I'm, that's the belt I still got on there. It's still decent, but it's like, I don't know, I, I could tell how my belt feels. Right. If it doesn't feel crispy right off the bat. You don't next. like it. So what, what'd you, what was the belt at West Point? The belt that's on there right now. The brand new stock belt. Oh, okay. So you just got another stock belt? and mm -hmm. Okay. So you you like to run the OEMs too? Yeah. yeah okay. I just got I got too much clutch work done right now to run Hunter Works. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he was saying on his video. That the video I sent you? Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Yeah. That's why I was thinking about the thick, mm -hmm. you know. And I mean, all it's going to do is you're going to have a little bit uh, quicker engagement yeah. off the line. But, but you were saying I might have a lot of more belt flap yeah belt slap you know slap on the box Once you change the helix it's better to change the helix to a non-ebs helix so you don't have that braking going downhill right but you probably like that braking you don't have to be on the brakes as much yeah i i i've got used to actually giving a little bit of gas going yeah. down because it slows her down yeah see i don't like it. i don't i want no engine braking because see with me if i if i use the brakes mm -hmm. the belt back there just squeals like crazy yeah I don't like that. I feel like I'm tearing it up or something, right? Yeah. Now it's time to go out and ride them. All right, how was that for a drive shaft removal, U joint replacement, and drive shaft re, re install? And uh, we also found out about the belt and some other things. Uh, thank you for watching. If you spent this much time watching, I do appreciate it. Uh, before we get out of here, if you want the Sandcraft upgrade greasable U-joint replacements, there is a link, actually two links down below. One for the storefront, which it is there, and also one directly to the product. Um, if you do go there, I get a piece of the action. It doesn't cost you any more, and I do appreciate it because it helps me out, and I need to help. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, when I went to the shop to try to find the carrier bearing, which Polaris actually calls a flex bearing. If you look in their paper uh, in their diagrams, it's actually called a flex bearing. Of course, most of them there will know what you're talking about when you say carrier bearing. Anyway, the point is when I went there, David replaced, put the uh, new um, uh, U joints in, so I wasn't able to actually, I, I didn't get a chance to actually video them or take a photo or something like that. So here's a picture from Amazon. Also, before we get out of here, if you have not yet gone to my Facebook page or my Instagram page, which are both Subtech Off-Road Life, please do so. Give them likes and follows and needs. I need those numbers up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, you don't know what you're missing. Do it now. Hit the little bell so you get notifications. I put out uh, something every week. More if I can. Uh, it just depends on what's going on if I'm doing a lot of traveling. It's, uh, it takes a lot of time out and less time for me to be able to edit, but I always try to get something up once a week. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.